So the day has finally come. We're working on the big block. It is a 454 30 over. It's supposed to have a nice little uh, flat type of camshaft in it. So that's what we're tackling right now. We're gonna take this intake off, pull the lifters. We're gonna soak them for a while before we put this back in the truck. I've also got some zinc additive here. Gonna try to slather up that camshaft just to kind of hopefully help the break-in process because this engine's brand new set for a number of years so that's the last thing i want to do is try to fire this thing up completely dry and smoke that camshaft So it looks like we found a little mouse house going on in here. All right, so last night, as you've seen, we got everything tore off of the engine as far as valve covers and intake goes. Today's hit list we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking all of our rockers loose here and pulling all of our push rods and also removing our lifters. As I was saying, this is a fresh engine and my buddy Brent advised me to pull the lifters on this thing. We're gonna soak them down just like you would on a fresh fire up and also got some like high zinc additive, like assembly loop stuff. We're gonna soak down all the lobes real good just to help everything kind of break in a little easier. So let's get into, well first we probably need to remove the mouse house that we found last night. Alright, we got the valve train completely disassembled. Um, I actually tried to roll this thing over. I was gonna start kind of lubricating on the camshaft like I had talked about, but it seems like that it's kind of apprehensive about rolling over right now, which kind of stinks. Um, kind of soaked everything down with some crow oil. Just gonna try to free some of this stuff up. Could just be a sticky ring. I actually did my bore scope in. All the cylinders, everything looks great. There's not even a speck of surface rust, so not sure what's going on there. So I just wanted to be kind of cautious, make sure none of those rings down on into the cylinder have some rust on them or something. Maybe that crow oil kind of seep in there and do its job and we'll come out here and uh, we'll rotate it then. But my ADD got the best of me and I just wanted to see what these headers would look like on this thing if they'll even fit right now which it don't look like they will these are the headers i've got set of long tubes i'm pretty cheap so i'm good with keeping them for now but yeah i think the long tubes are going to look pretty cool just hope they fit in that 67. all right option b for the night i'm gonna use some of this get gone degreaser from sweet patina and I'm going to just kind of degrease this engine right now since everything else has kind of failed me. 
So just go spray around on this thing. And if you want any of this or any of his products, Sweet Patina, use this code right here and you can save yourself 5% at discount. I get a little kickback so I can keep doing all this stuff. It won't be any more expensive for you. You'll save some money. I'll get some money. Blake makes a sale. It's all good. So head over there, check them out. I don't know what the hell that was. It didn't sound right though. <laughs> or it's been laid in a garage, make sure that oil pan isn't pushed up or something. With the truck in the shop, I'm gonna go ahead and opt to toss the old big block back inside of the truck. Um, as you've seen, we got the thing spinning over pretty good and everything, and we can reassemble everything up inside the truck, and it'll be a little higher, be a little easier on the back. So you want to loop around from the front and come in, or come from the back, kind of sideways, and we'll just turn it. I'm gonna turn it. I, I, it. It's pretty easy to turn. It okay. Just slide. Should slide pretty easy. Something solid on this side. I need a little 
Taparoo. Uh, she's there. Nature's Loctite and cross thread. Yeah, she sat in there. Yep. Well, I ain't gonna be too bad getting the valve covers on. I don't think so. All right, the other day we got the big block in here, obviously. So today I just want to kind of mock these headers up. Um, I've got some gaskets up there that we might run, but I'd like to get a good set of copper ones. Uh, just kind of eyeballing this. I'm saying these are definitely going to come up from the bottom if they will work at all. So get this thing jacked up and see if we can slip these things on. So these headers actually fit very, very well for this truck. Um, like typical long tubes, they do hang down a little lower than I would really like. They bolted right up, so we'll be able to snag right onto some exhaust and go on out the back. So that's pretty cool. It'll be perfect for right now. If we ever do decide to go lower, as in bagging this truck, Obviously we have to do something different, but for what we got going on should be pretty good. Well, we got this thing up in the front We'll go ahead and jack the back end of this thing up get it on some jack stands back here Then I got a pretty cool surprise that I think you're gonna like Now, I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty good. That staggered offset, got the bigger tire in the rear, offset in the front. Looks like we're gonna wanna come down just a little bit more in the rear. It's uh, sitting on some cut springs up front, so I'm not sure how far that really is. So definitely think we could stand to come down a little bit in the rear, but I think we made some killer progress on the 67. Comment down below if you like the direction this build's coming 
and make sure you hit subscribe because we're going to be firing this big blog up very soon. Thank you so much. As always, have a good one. See you on the next one.